This tutorial explains how to apply the strc function of the string r package in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So if we want to apply the strc function of the string r package, we first need to install and load the string r package, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line three of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the strc function of the string r package. So in line five, I'm showing the first example of the application of the strc function. And in this example, I'm applying this function to several character strings. So as you can see within this function, we need to specify character strings and we need to separate these character strings by commas. So if we apply the strc function to these character strings, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that these character strings have been concatenated. You can also see that at this point, the separator is an empty blank character string. So in other words, there are no spaces between our input character strings. And we can change that if we specify the sep argument within the strc function, as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using the same input character strings as in the previous example. However, in addition to that, I'm specifying that I want to use an empty character string with one empty space as separator. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see at the bottom that another output is returned. And this time we have used a blank value as separator. We can also apply the strc function to vector objects, as you can see in the next example. So in order to apply the strc function to a vector, we first need to create an example vector, as you can see in line nine of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called x. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a vector object containing different character strings. Now, if we would apply the strc function to this vector object without any additional specifications, nothing would happen. So as you can see after running line 12 of the code, the same output is returned as in the previous line of code where we have simply printed our vector object to the console. So if we want to collapse the elements of our vector object, we also need to specify the collapse argument as you can see in line 14 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the strc function to our vector. Then I'm specifying a comma, and then I'm specifying the collapse argument to be equal to a blank. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see at the bottom that another output is returned. And this time we have merged the values in our character vector, and we have separated these elements in the vector by a blank value. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.